Why were you dating a guy more than twice your age? Other age than the fact that you opened up a credit do. card, paid all your credit card bills, anything. and support, yeah, paid for your nails to be done, paid for what else? For meals out. What else did you use with the credit card for? Uh, various things. Like what? Nails, hair, uh, lift taxis, uh, plane ticket to Miami. Without but, you? <laughs> yeah, because Rebecca's mother died. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, that is one of the oldest tricks in the book. Somebody died. I'm sick. I don't have no money. You fell hook, line, and sinker into that. You should be thankful that you're still here and you're still alive because a lot of women will take it even further than that and just try to erase you and take every single thing you have. That is crazy. Pay attention, guys. <laughs> yeah, that just... I don't think there's a Rebecca. <laughs> yeah, there is. There is a Rebecca? Yeah. You know there is? Because she promised to give me a phone number, which never materialized either. That's what makes you believe there's a Rebecca? Yeah. She promised well, let to... me ask you a question. Why let me ask you a, a question. Like Why do you believe there's a Rebecca? <laughs> How many tickets to Miami? Her and a companion? No, just herself. Who'd you go to Miami with? By myself. <laughs> Who'd you stay with? In a hotel. Notice the question she just asked. Who did you stay with? in a hotel that's not an answer to the question because she went out there to see another guy to stay with another guy and that guy probably all he's probably been benefiting from what this guy here has been giving her lifts shopping all this type of stuff oh yeah women do this a lot they have a guy on the side that they're giving all the love to but then they have a guy on the side, like a sugar daddy that they're using. And that guy that's getting all the love is getting some of those benefits too. Don't be foolish, guys. Don't be, especially if you're an older guy with any kind of resources or something like that. You are a big, big, big target. What'd you go there for? For fun. There was no funeral? No. Did you tell him there was though? Um, yeah. No, you didn't. No, she, she's agreeing with you that she oh. told you there was a funeral. Right. Right. I think that's one of the worst things you can do is lie to begin with. But when you start lying on your children, you start lying on your family and you start lying, saying people died and I go to funeral. I got to go to funerals and all that. That is the worst time uh, thing. That's that's like super evil. You know what I'm saying? Why would you do that? But you have a lot of people that have zero character. And unfortunately, a lot of women like that have zero character. They just don't care. And I don't feel sorry for guys like this because he is definitely old enough to know better. He's so worried about trying to have some eye candy and to, to, to show people his friends or whatever that he has some kind of connection with this young, hot girl. And he's just getting played. Uh, how long you been using men like this? Always? Mm -hmm. No, not really. I don't know whether to think you're a terrible person. I probably do, but <laughs> I, I also think, like, what were you thinking, right? In other words, this seems to be a very symbiotic relationship. You've got some hot tamale half your age who basically takes you for a ride for three months uh, to the tune of $4,708.71. Damn, three months? Dude, you got taken for the ride. You got taken for the cruise. You got ran around the world. In three months, she was able to play you like that? Oh, wow. That is crazy. But is it really taking you for a ride? It's basically she accepts every penny you throw her way. Exactly. And, oh, you cannot wait to throw pennies her way. You just can't wait to pay off things, buy her, th put a credit card here. Just, you know what? Don't even ask me for any more money. Just take the credit card and spend it how you see fit. And every month I'll pay all of the stuff that you're buying on the credit card. And everything's no. great because you're my girlfriend. I get to tell people you're my girlfriend. That wasn't the agreement. You're my girlfriend. What? That wasn't the agreement. What was the agreement? She was going to pay everything back. How? How was she supposed to pay everything back? That is ridiculous. You know that she's not going to pay anything back. She's playing you. And you knew that you were getting played, but your ego was in the way. Now, if you notice when the judge said that this woman's taking you for a ride and blah, 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 blah. And basically, it's, she basically said, it's your fault. You kept giving it to her and she kept taking it. And you heard the girl in the background say, <laughs> exactly. See, women like that, they have no moral compass. They have no integrity. They don't care. 
they will just take, 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 take. They don't care if it's right or wrong. That's why as men, you have to be smart, okay? A woman can sit there and smile and, and, and show herself to you and do all these things and make you believe that she really cares and that something is going to happen. She might future fake you to make you think that something may happen in the future, but it never happens. You have to continuously do more, continuously do more to prove yourself. And then this guy probably got to a point where, okay, now I've been giving and giving and giving and I'm not getting anything in return. Now I got to take her to court. Fellas, don't let it get to this point. That was, that's why I gave it she to her. She doesn't strike me like that type. <laughs> oh, she only lies about something. No, not all. I mean, she doesn't strike me like the type who thinks that she is going to have to pay back. She, oh. That doesn't have to pretend she's going to have to pay back. He offered to pay for a boob job to do yes, what? For my Bigger? Butt. Yeah. Was that his idea or yours? He said he loves big boobs. Oh. And man. I like big boobs too. So he said he doesn't mind. Then maybe you should date so this guy was trying to uh, get him a kept woman and it, it seriously backfired. You know what I'm saying? I will leave you guys with this. There was one story that I saw about a year ago and it was kind of the same situation, um, but it definitely ended worse than this. It was a guy right around his same age. He met a woman around the same age. I think she might have been just a tiny bit older, but he was significantly older than her. He met her, fell in love with her, um, bought her a new house, bought her a car, ended up marrying her. This guy was like, uh, he was a divorcee and he had a couple grown kids, ex-wife, you know, still was cool with him and all this and that. And he marries this new woman and immediately she's, even before they're married, you know, he's doing all these things for her and she's making all these demands, you know, to have something to do with money, buy me this, do this and that, and I need this and that, right? And then shortly after he marries her, they get married at their own house, this big house. And shortly after that, the guy starts getting sick out of nowhere, right? And he goes to the doctor and they're trying to figure out what's wrong with him and they can't figure it out. So he starts getting sick. He gets really sick. He goes to the hospital. He gets better, right? He comes back home. In about, I think it was like five or six months, he starts getting sick again. But this time, it's actually even worse, right? Goes to the hospital. The guy dies. She immediately tries to sell everything he has, right? Comes to find out that someone in their circle or whatever that had been to their house noticed that his wife was putting something in his coffee. Every day, he would drink this, this coffee, this special brew coffee. Come to find out that she was pouring a bottle of a Visine in his coffee every single day. Might have, I, I don't think it was a whole, it couldn't have been a whole thing of Visine. So she must have been just like putting drops and drops and drops, right? And it would progressively make him sicker. And then I think the last time she did it, they said that she put, must have put a whole lot in it. The guy died from Visine poisoning. And if you didn't know that, you can actually die from that if you take it orally and you take too much. It's meant just for the one or two drops in your eyes. It can actually kill you. And this is what this woman did. And all she, she did was poison him, kill him, and try to take everything he had. And luckily, his children wised up to it and found out exactly what was going on. And they caught her. But I say this to say this. That to say this, guys, you have to be really careful about who you deal with. And if you run across any women that are so excited about your resources, so excited about what you can do for them, and they constantly want more, they constantly want more, they constantly want more. Because see, this is the thing about thieves. They're never satisfied. You could give a thief or you could give an unscrupulous person a million dollars. And that's gonna, not going to be enough. They're going to spend that in a day and they're going to be back tomorrow and they're going to want more. See, it's never enough. And that's what happened with this guy. All because he fell for this type of trap. So if you're an older guy, younger guy, I don't care what situation you're, you're in, do not get with any kind of woman that's focused on what you can give them because he's lucky that he's still standing there. But there's some men that are not standing there they're under the ground 
and they're not here anymore because they fell for this trap, because they fell for this idea of having arm candy. They fell for the idea and the attraction of taking a picture with the woman or bragging to people, look, this is my woman. Look, this woman is paying me attention and all this type of stuff. So don't fall for that. Be smart. Because as you can see in this video, this woman has zero care in the world. And another thing I'll point out, while the judge is kind of chastising her for her behavior, it's funny even to her because she's a woman. You see what I'm saying? When women do things to men, it, don't, it doesn't hold the same kind of connotation that it has when it's in reverse. So even though she is chastising the woman and kind of giving her a hard time, she's still smiling. Like it's a smiling matter. And if you notice, people in the uh, audience started laughing too. Like this is a laughing matter. If this was in reverse, you wouldn't hear that from the crowd. And you would not see that smile and that kind of upbeat tone from the judge. So it's up to you guys to be smart and not to fall for that. Because these women, they can read you guys. And you cannot out slick a woman when it comes to this type of stuff you have to be smart and not let it get there that's all i have to say about this video let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure to like the video subscribe to my youtube channel if you're on tiktok give me a follow over there show me some love i really appreciate it and as always have a great day peace may the force be with you